The unknown is scary. I get it. Did you know your brain is actually addicted to staying comfortable and it actually hates change and that's why the unknown is always scary. So I have five really helpful ways that you can start to embrace the unknown and open yourself up to new love, new journeys, travel, relationships and an amazing new life. First one, creating internal safety. How can you embrace the world outside when your world inside is already and itself kind of scary? So the more you allow yourself to create internal safety for yourself, the easier it is for you to tackle anything on the outside. So what does it look like to create internal safety? It simply means learning to love, validate, acknowledge, recognize, be compassionate to who you really are on the inside. You may make mistakes, but recognize that's just part of the journey. Be compassionate with yourself. When you have small breakthroughs, celebrate yourself. When you're going through a difficult challenge, slow down, breathe, regulate your nervous system, allow yourself to just tune into who you are, go internal, so you start to feel more confident. Appreciate yourself a little more. Start giving gratitude to who you really are, and then you'll recognize that you are your best warrior, and that any war around is so winnable because you've got you. So learn to create internal safety Tune out that like external voice, silence the ego on the inside, and you'll start to feel so much more confident to be able to handle whatever comes your way. You'll be able to walk up to a bar and speak to a boy or a girl. You'll be able to like look at someone at a bus stop and open up with beautiful conversation. You learn to say yes to when things are beautiful. You learn to say no when things aren't. The second one, bringing your awareness to the fears. The biggest thing that makes the unknown scary is the fact that it's unknown. So the more that you start to actually bring your awareness into what it is about the unknown that makes you feel afraid, what it is that actually gets you scared, then you're actually starting to create more awareness and this big unknown black mass starts to become smaller and smaller until it's just a little thing you can actually take care of. So something that's really helpful for me is when I get into a new project, get into a new relationship, a new space that's unknown, I'll write down what is the list of things I'm actually afraid of? Once I write down that list, I start to see, well, is this an authentic or rational fear? Or is this something my mind's making? Is this something my ego is trying to project to get me to stop working on this project? That's a, such a helpful tool, especially when it gets into relationships. Trying to find love, is this something that's actually scary for me? Or is this just an excuse for me not to be vulnerable? Another thing you can do when you, in these moments is remember the internal safety piece? When you find out something that's scary for you, tell yourself, how can I create internal safety around this particular piece? So if it's around, let's say, a fear of being rejected by a new person, when you start to say, okay, how can I validate myself enough? How can I love myself enough? So that even if they say no to me or they deny me, I don't feel rejected. I recognize it as just something that's not working out, something that's just not meant to be in that moment because I still have myself. The third one, oh. oh, cannot tell you how this one is one of my favorites and it is about coming back to your breath. So another huge piece is that we are all physical beings. We're emotional, we're spiritual beings who are in a physical body. Do you know that the only thing that you can take with you to your grave is your body? Only thing that follows you when you go to the unknown or to your scary moments is your body. But also, when your body is scared, it reacts and it convinces your brain through a negative feedback loop that something is unknown or scary out there. So instead, what you can do is learn to calm down your body, learn to regulate your body, so that when you learn to relax in that moment, you stop secreting stress hormones. You stop convincing yourself that the unknown is actually scary. Best way to do that is bring it back to your breath. Your breath is now one of the best ways to regulate your nervous system. One of the breath works I love to try is simply just breathing in through my nose for five seconds, breathing out through my mouth for seven. When you breathe out longer, when you have longer exhales, you actually activate your parasympathetic system. That part of your nervous system is in charge of rest and relax. So it gets you calmer and more able to get into scary situations because you're not freaking out as much. Fourth one, change the narrative. So some of the most successful people in life are people who do what I love, what it's called alchemy. They take the same situation, which may seem cha challenging or scary or unknown, and they try and rewrite the story to say, how is this an opportunity for me to grow? How is this giving me a chance to level up my life? How is this giving me an opportunity to create more success in my life? When you start doing that, 
you start you stop attaching to the past you stop attaching to your fears and your rejections and everything you think is an unknown instead you start opening up to your future oh wow this is going to create a better chance for me this is going to give me more success and love in my life so if you take let's say a situation about being rejected right we talked about that or let's say travel where oh i'm so afraid of going to an unknown country because i might you know lose my wallet i might be kidnapped you know all this stuff we watch in the news and instead you say okay how is this an opportunity for me to grow my life i might get a chance to learn a new language i might try new foods i might actually meet someone of a different culture who can expose my heart to so much more love i might come back more emotionally intelligent intellectually intelligent i might have to give and share so much more to my family i might even just love being there so much more when you simply embrace these your heart starts to open up instead of being closed your mind starts to become more alert you start being open to opportunity and and how things can actually give you a better chance in life best way to use this is especially when it comes to things around work when you're afraid and then again say how is this giving me an opportunity for something else or something bigger and finally the most important one which is love yourself through the journey at the end of the day there's only one person taking this journey and that's you so if you are the passenger or you are the 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 vehicle rather of your own life journey if you don't take care of this vehicle journey is going to be bumpy it's going to be uncomfortable you're not going to get much sleep you're not going to enjoy it you're going to hate it so the best way to guarantee at least a better journey is to take care of who's making the journey and that's you so the more you start to validate and love yourself through the journey creating internal security changing your circumstance reducing the fear of the unknown the more you bring the focus and attention back to you the hero of your own story then the more you start to love the journey no matter what it looks like the less you're afraid of the unknown and the more you embrace it as just an opportunity to the next step the less you look at rejection as something painful and you start to see it as redirection into something beautiful the more you start to witness life as things not happening to you but things happening for you the more you embrace the unknown to a point where now you are breaking past the chains of your the chains of your past and instead you're embracing the optimism and the abundance of your future if you learn to do that you will love every single step in your life and people will look at you and be like wow i want to eat what they're eating i want to drink what they're drinking i want to be like them my name is yans and i run a program which takes people through the journey of their lives of healing all of the past and everything that holds on to them and instead giving them this beautiful abundant optimistic future they really desire for themselves if you're someone who wants to break the chains of your past those repeated cycles the stories and fears of the unknown and instead to have the love and the life you really desire send me a dm on instagram at the inner yats and i look forward to talking to you and hearing your story